Hello everyone, welcome to another YAWL tutorial. In the last three tutorials of the series of 25 tutorials, we will talk about process mining. There is a very close relationship between YAWL and process mining, as you will see. So let's first recap what we've seen so far. So let's assume that we have our world our world of processes, people, organizations and so on. So what we did so far was that we had modeled business processes. And in modeling business processes, we came up with these YAWL diagrams. As some kind of graphical depiction of our process. And then we added to the so-called control flow view some more aspects like the data perspective and the resource perspective. And when we had all that, we had a YAWL specification and the YAWL specification allowed us to generate an IT system with which we could execute the process. And here we have the YAWL engine, probably some other software around it to make it work, to embed it into something. And then this IT system directly supported our business process. And this is something like a closed circle. So if we have changes in the world which appear quite frequently, we create a new process model, we adapt the process model, we regenerate the new process that is then installed on the engine which then supports the world and so we have the possibility of flexibly improve and adapt our processes. So now, what is process mining? Every IT system generates logs in one form or another. So here we have our process logs. And the system produces these logs as it is running, either in a text file or in a database, in whatever format. The advantage in using YAWL here as our IT system is that YAWL can export directly a standard format for process mining, which is called Extensible Event Stream. XCS for short, and we will talk about that in the next video. And then if we have the process logs, then we have process mining It's a little like data mining, but specialized for processes. And we can, for example, discover process models just by looking at the logs without looking at the original specification. Or we can do conformance checking, looking at if the logs conform to our process model. We can detect key performance indicators for our processes like average execution time or throughput, etc. So we can use process mining 
to analyze and improve our processes and we get another loop if you like here where we have process improvement and very flexible adaptation of our processes and then of our IT systems. And this is the topic of the next videos, so stay tuned.